Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, um, a couple of days ago, Mark Cuban uh, gave um, a, a few advice to crypto investors, especially in the light of um, you saw the cryptos which have been tanking and the market is uh, quite volatile at this point in time. So his, um, his advice being primarily on the altcoins, um, not so much on Bitcoin really, uh, but um, there are a few uh, aspects that you should keep in mind when uh, a seasoned investor, a billionaire, and a, uh, and a, and a, a owner of, uh, of, uh, of sports club, uh, you know, gives you certain advice. So it's worth, um, you know, uh, looking into his uh, advice and see what investors like us would want to take out of uh, the, the, uh, the advice that he has given us. So let's talk about it. Um, I think uh, it's very, very important to know what he's talking about. So before we do that, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, please smash that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. Please comment on my video so that I know what you exactly are looking for, so that I can uh, you know, bring to you uh, the small nuggets of uh, research and curation and knowledge uh, in my uh, videos for you. So, and also please share my videos with people who you think would benefit from my videos. So, let's dive in. So, Mark Cuban is talking about three key risks in uh, crypto in invest investment. So, let's try and understand what he's saying. First one is reputation risk. So this is the uh, risk that, that, that essentially is a part that comes from the leadership of the, of the crypto. So what he's saying is that, uh, it, uh, you know, you must look at the, the credibility of the, the founders, the leaders, what are the projects uh, that they've done in the past, or what, are the, what is the credibility of the current project that is under consideration? So he says the reputation risk is the threat that an altcoin project may not be in good standing. So you, you, st you start with that premise and then you dissect the, the altcoin to see who are the investors, who are the founders, what's the leadership, uh, what, is, what, is, what is the vision that they have uh, for the altcoin, and what has been their past performances with uh, starting a business, or let's say in the crypto world, uh, what has been their uh, background? Have they ever worked on any kind of um, technology uh, or, or have started a technology company which has gone to a certain uh, level, which has first been funded and they sold off the company or what? So first find out, that's the reputation risk that you need to understand. The second is the market access risk. So market access risk refers to the accessibility of each digital coin, including where it's available for, for purchase. So you would find that there are many of those so-called, you know, uh, areas from or places from where you could access or buy uh, um, uh, old coins, uh, which are not the legitimate uh, you know, usually use um, platforms to purchase from, not from the exchanges, but from backdoor, some backdoor process, some other, somebody giving out some coins or somebody, you're buying it from somebody. Um, you are not really buying from a reputed uh, a crypto exchange but from somewhere else. So that's the market access rule. So you must be mindful of where these coins are accessible. If the coins are given out by the company itself for a certain kind of work that you've done or for some, some, some purchases directly from the company at the time of ICO, then yes, then that's, that's a legitimate um, uh, process or means to access the uh, coins. But 
uh, if you're accessing it from somebody whom you don't know or somebody is giving uh, giving you coins in exchange for let's say cash uh, or currency or even other coins then um, then you have to really be very very uh, uh, suspicious and your 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 suspicion radar must be uh, running uh, really really um, on its top here the third point is the technical risk so you so technical risk is a big one since the quality of code behind each digital coin can vary so you would also so you would have heard of this term term called fork so you there have been instances where some coin has copied somebody else's code and used it so dogecoin copied litecoin's code and litecoin copied it from bitcoin now there is nothing wrong with that copy but if you are merely copying and not add um, you know building that code to an extent with which is which which is really makes it strong and could be further used in the future and is also audited by an external third party then uh, you are in at a risk if all these conditions are met so let's say the code has been created developed by the the tech team and it's been it it has the potential to to be secure and it has been audited by a, a, a reputed, reputed uh, third party auditor, then the chances of the company and hence the, the, the coin to be more uh, authentic and thus the risk is diminished. So that's what he's talking about. So, so those are the three risks that he's talking about to summarize. Reputation risk, which essentially has to do with the founders and the background and the direction that the, the company has. Market access risk is how you could obtain the coin um, from where do you purchase? Do you purchase, purchase the coins from reputed institutions like reputed crypto stock exchanges? Uh, and the third is the technical risk is where uh, you need to figure out how the code was eventually derived or written. Was it really written by the tech team or was it copied and pasted? Or, uh, so which is a fork, which is, which is a common term or not. So uh, you, need to, you need to be mindful of all these aspects. So these are the three risks that Mark Cuban ha has highlighted. And please note that Mark Cuban has disclosed that his crypto investment portfolio has 60% Bitcoin, 30% Ether, and 10% oil, oil coins, including Dogecoin, Litecoin, and DeFi, like Sushi and Awa. So, um, Sushi and App. So, so these are, are, are golden words from an investor who's invested, who himself has invested in the crypto world, and he's made money out of it. So it's it's worth keeping you know uh, in mind before you invest in any cryptocurrency. So now let's look at the fallout of, of these advice that Mark Cuban has given given for us investors, crypto investors. There are three implications. First, do your own research. Mark Cuban says always do the work. So that's the work that he's talking about. To do your research. And I have said this time and again, that research, research, research before you invest. Research on the three risk factors that he's spoken about. Research on the fundamentals of technology. Uh, what's the direction? Who's the leader? What kind of code they're using? What is the, where are you accessing your uh, coins from? So all of that. The second is do not blindly copy someone. Mark Cuban says, do not even copy me. So he's not even asking you to copy the way he has invested in cryptos. He's asking you, point number one, to do your own research so that you don't fall into a trap, you don't fall into a scam, and you should shun away from that FOMO effect, fear of missing out. 
And the third point is spend only what you can afford to lose. Now, I have also spoken about it time and again that you should not invest more than 5% of your investment portfolio in cryptocurrencies. So, so he's talking about this, that since cryptocurrencies are not regulated and it's, the prices are volatile, uh, he has a case, he, 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 he spoke about a, a case where, where he invested and the crypto, the altcoin went to zero. So it crashed. So you should be prepared to lose that entire uh, amount of money that you've invested in crypto. So you go in the investment mode with that in mind that you could potentially lose everything. Hence, you would only invest what you could lose. So those are the golden advice that Mark Cuban is giving. And that's the fallout of those three risks that he has highlighted. Hi, I hope this was useful to you. I, I will put the video on the five aspects I had mentioned before you should invest in a crypto. That was done a few weeks ago, so you would find that in the card above. Go take a look at it. And I mentioned all these points then in, 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 in that video. So that's it, guys. So, I, so as you know, uh, I have a free ebook on my journey as an entrepreneur. The book is titled Six Figure Corporate Job to Master Entrepreneur, um, where I've spoken about my, my uh, journey from uh, you know, quitting a six-figure globe-trotting corporate job back in 2010 to become an entrepreneur. What I did, what 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 did I win? What did I lose? Uh, and I also put down a worksheet for you to try and assess where you stand as an entrepreneur. So in those three worksheets, you could there are three worksheets. You, in, in those three worksheets, you could score yourself as an entrepreneur, your mind as an entrepreneur, before even you could jump into becoming an entrepreneur. And you see where you stand. The cool thing is I've scored myself and you would see how much I scored and what I achieved eventually. So the ebook is available on my website. The link is flashing on the screen. I'll put that in the description box below. All you have to do is to put down your name and email address, then the link to download the ebook will be emailed to your inbox. I hope you like the ebook. So, well, thank you very much. Thank you for listening to me. As you know, my name is Sarah Mukherjee. I'm a digital technology and marketing leader with over 20 years of global experience. You would find my LinkedIn URL in the description box below. I, I regularly work with the clients where I look to find solutions to their business, marketing, technological, and investment challenges. If you're looking for engaging me as your consultant in your company or startup, please drop me a line on LinkedIn after you connected with me. Uh, message me on LinkedIn. Or you could even write to me on the contact page of my website whose URL will be in the description box below. Then we can jump into a conference call and see how we can work together. Well, um, before I go, one more request to you. Please like my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Please smash that notification bell. Please comment on my videos and also share my videos with people who you think will benefit from my research and from my, um, my analysis and from my videos. So take care, stay safe and stay healthy and I shall see you in my next video. Bye bye.